So you've now got the next 10 years to look forward to. And I know that you think about that a lot and you have sort of many plans. Tell us what's sort of top of mind for you at the moment for the next decade. I think the challenge is to keep the excellence. We try to, to be excellent vis-à-vis -vis the LPs, very transparent, to offer the best track record. So the challenge is uh, the bigger you are, the challenge is bigger to, to, to keep this excellence over the next, let's say, journey, the next 10 years. Um, our, always our mantra is uh, coming, you know, from this uh, paraphrase of uh, Giuseppe uh, Tomasi di Lampedusa in the, what we call Gepard in French. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, if we want things to stay as they are, things will have to change. And I think it's exactly that. If we want excellence, we have to change to keep excellence. I think so I'd bet on you before the Italian aristocracy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have spent the last year reflecting on how best to arrange uh, the new governance and management uh, to best um, um, uh, support uh, the, the next growth, because we are very ambitious on the next growth. And this is why recently we put this general management in place, uh, where I'm joined by five of our most experienced executive and long-serving long uh, managers to give us, uh, even at a much larger scale, I would say greater focus and ability also to remain agile in this uh, complex environment and innovative. It is a very important milestone, this appointment of a general management for, for Ardian. And uh, beyond, or beyond those uh, five executives, I want also to thank uh, all the teams. Um, I saw many faces in the room to thank them for their work, and also to thank all the LPs, because without LPs, we won't be there. So thanks, thanks to all of you.